Hi guys, it's a Dudley Kitten here, and today I actually have my Yes Oh Yes for the month of February. i sorry, I had to think about it because this month, let me tell you, has been so stressful for me. And that's mostly because if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, one of my cats got really, really sick. And we took him to the vet. He's, he's a lot better now. He ended up having a fever um, and they think an abscess in his cheek but he's a lot better now. Um, however, because we did take him to the vet, it's kind of been World War Mew around here. So, because now his brother doesn't know who he is because he smells different. So they haven't been necessarily getting along. So I may have to pause this video if you do hear noises. I do apologize for that, um, but that's the reason why. Um, and actually, I got this like a couple of days ago and because of everything that's been kind of going on, I have I had the chance to sit down and actually film it. But today is Thursday, um, which was the day after the Snowmageddon, so I like to refer to it as, because yesterday was literally insane. Like, snow was coming down in buckets. I mean, I went outside at like 8.30 in the morning, cleaned off my boyfriend's car, my car, walked back inside, Literally, within five minutes of me walking inside and changing my coat and grabbing my bag, grabbing my food for the day and walking back out that door, I couldn't even find my own footsteps that I literally just walked in. So it's like, it was so bad. And then I couldn't even get to work because I couldn't get up our hill. So my boyfriend had to turn around, come get me to take me to work. So yeah. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, let's get on into this. Hopefully this is a lot better. I still haven't even heard back about my December box at all. And the funny thing is I think the um, the crown brush is actually still on my floor. Because honestly, when I film, I sit on the floor. Okay. Hold on, this bag is just being very, very difficult to open. And is opening very weirdly so give me a second let me see if I can't get a card I think this is the card okay it says be mine forever lots of kisses hello there with love hugs and kisses for you thanks love you yes oh yes now they did end up changing this there's no longer prices on here which I think is smart by them they did I mean, the prices would have been fine to put on there still, but I do like how they did change this up because it says total suggested value. Um, so my total suggested value was $93 for this bag. Um, and if you guys don't know, this bag, I believe, is $16.99 plus shipping right now. Um, I think that's how much I pay. So I do have an affiliate link down below for this box in general. Um but you don't have to use it if you want just google yes oh yes it's usually the first link that comes up so but i do have the affiliate link in case you guys want to use it um i do get commission off of it eventually so uh the first thing i am pulling out here which is the palette and this is by beauty creations and this is called the emerald uh palette And then upon opening it, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to swatch this, to be honest with you. Um, just because I actually do not like this brand. Um, this brand works for a lot of people. It just does not work for me. Um, but I'm going to put this in a giveaway for you guys. Um... I actually went out to the dollar store and got like one of those little plastic bins and that's actually getting very full. Um, so here's hoping that I do reach one of my landmarks here very shortly because it's going to make somebody very, very happy because let me tell you that, I mean, granted the bin is like maybe this tall and you can't see how wide it is, but it's almost full. And so Granted, I do use that for my mystery bags as well, um, 
but I can only fit so much in a bag. So, and by the way, before I continue, my mystery bag giveaway for the month is down below in the description. Make sure you go and enter that if you have not. Um, other than that, let's get back into here. Now, the next few things here I'm pulling out, which are by hashtag INM Heart, or INMO, um, Cosmetics. And they are three different brushes. Now, does it even say? Okay, so this is a crease brush. You got a concealer brush. And a small angled brush. So, I am not sure whether or not I'm going to keep these. Because I have a lot of Luxie brushes. And a lot of SL Mescaline brushes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put this aside for a giveaway. I might because I don't, honestly, I end up keeping most of my brushes because I'm obsessed with brushes. So, yeah, I really need to stop doing that. But those brushes do count as separate items. So, but that's okay. The next thing I am pulling out is by Koki Cosmetics. This is a velvet smooth eyeliner and this is in the shade forest green now i'm not going to swatch this one either because i am not a green person i hate the color green <laughs> which is funny because it's my boyfriend's favorite color and i hate it so i'm not going to swatch that one that will also go in a giveaway and probably this one too so i got two eyeliners yeah here is by JCat Beauty. It's a Holy Addiction uh, Pro Define Eyeliner. And this one is in the shade, I can't even read that, Shimmer Bronze. So this is what it looks like. This, I'm assuming, is the color. Um, I mean, it's very pretty. I don't understand why I got two eyeliners, though. So pretty much, I think this whole entire bag for this month, I don't think I'm keeping anything. Well, it depends. What's this? This is by Bang Beauty. And this is in the shade Dangerous. What are you? Let's see here. Oh, it's a lip crayon. Yeah, so everything in this box is going to go in a giveaway. This is a really nice, like, reddish color. It honestly looks so fake red. <laughs> It really does. It really looks fake. Um, but yeah, this will also go in a giveaway. So this, honestly, to me, was not a good box for, or bag, I should say, for me this month. Um, and to be honest, my first Yes So Yes really, really excited me. And ever since then, it's been kind of downhill from there. Um... I'm hoping that they'll get a little bit better here shortly. I have, like, I try to stay away from spoilers as much. Oh, as I just hit myself right in the eye. That was great. Thanks a lot, Misty. Oh, but I do not understand why a girl needs two different eyeliners in two different colors. Neither one, I mean, I get it, they're not black, which is really, really nice. But it would be super nice to get a white one. For my waterline um because honestly those I think are a little bit better for me anyway because I do like to put white liner white eyeliner in my waterline just to make my eyes pop out a little bit more or I'll use silver um or maybe even sometimes gray depending on the gray color but those are two colors that I'll just never use to be honest um and then on here it just says it is this suggested value of $93. Do I think that with everything is $93? Probably not. I'm thinking this is probably like $15, $16. Bucks. Um, I know the Koki is probably like $3 or $4. The J-Cat's probably $3 or $4. The brushes, I do not know. I'm not really familiar with this brand. I just know, I believe these, um, this brand is vegan and cruelty free. I'm not quite sure. Um, 
but even if you go based upon um, like eco tools or moda these would be like five bucks for three so and then the bang beauty lip crayon probably like ten bucks so do I believe that it's a total reval retail value of ninety three dollars I really don't I don't think that it all this stuff is worth ninety three dollars if it is necessarily but I mean that's my opinion but I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that Yes Oh Yes gets, you know, their crap kind of together just because, I mean, they've had some great months. They really have. And then the past couple of months, they've just kind of like went down the slippery slope all because people were finding out of, oh, well, the prices that they're putting on there is not right. Than it was we weren't even getting a card saying anything. At least now we're getting a card. The prices last month were almost correct. Like, I can't even fault them. They were basically correct. According to the websites. So, I do applaud them for that. And I do applaud them for using, you know, total suggested value. Because you're not stating, hey, this is this much. You know? But at 18, basically, I think what I pay, I think I pay, even with my affiliate code, because I do get a certain amount off being an affiliate, I think I end up paying like 18 bucks a month for the subscription, so it's not that much that I'm getting saved, obviously. So for $18, which is $3 less than what I pay for BoxyCharm, I get way more set of, way more set of, I don't know the word I'm trying to find. I get way more satisfied with the boxy charm than what I do with this Yes Oh Yes, even with my Ipsy. Now, Ipsy is about almost $10 more. It's what, if I can do math correct, $8 more. Um, so, and I'm way more satisfied with that. And granted, I know that this company has been around for just a little over a year so they're still trying to find their bearings and having to deal with us finding out about the values and all that i understand i really do anyway though please share your opinions with me about this bag because i haven't decided whether or not i was going to keep this yet i was thinking about canceling this and maybe trying to find something else that promises full size try to go through there i do know that there is a couple more box new boxes out there that do promise the same thing that are around the same amount of price um so let me know in the comments below what you think about it um other than like like i said my giveaway for this month will be in the description down below and if we hit 250 subscribers uh i will either send out a second bag this month and then a huge box next month or it will be either or. That's what I'll do. So if I hit my goal, I'll either send out, I'll to pick two winners to send out two bags, or I'll do a huge one where I'll get like one of these huge boxes from work. They're not really that huge, but still, they're a lot bigger than bags, and I'll fill it and then send it out to you guys. And then like I said, I'm not going to swatch that palette, but I do end up putting like used palettes usually, and I will put a sticker on it saying that it is used. Um because that was the general consensus that I had from you guys of whether or not you guys wanted to use products. Now, I'm not going to send you like used lips, mascara, obviously. The only thing I will send you guys usually used is eyeshadow palettes, maybe blushes, um, but that's about it. Now, I do put a sticker on all of them to let you let whoever wins aware that yes, this is used. Please be careful you know, please spray with rubbing alcohol. Anyway, that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantastic day, weekend, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.